What are you thinking about? Oh, now's the right time. Why not? Why not? This is a decision that's going to affect our whole life. I mean, I love you, but I don't want to get married and still be working here in 20 years. I'm trying to decide where I want to be in 20 years, and what are you doing? Well, none of that matters. Uh, uh, we'll be married. We'll be together. And then what? Don't be naive. Marriage isn't going to magically solve our problems. You love me. Yes, I love you, but I don't know what I want. And you don't either, and that's the problem. There has to be some other plan than just happily ever after. Well, all I care about is that I love you. Now, if you can't see that and have faith in that, well, just tell me what I can do to convince you. What you can do is prove to me that we won't be here for the rest of our lives, that we'll have something more than this. Guys, get back to work. Peek isn't paying you to talk. So soon. I'm working. Can't we talk about my biological clock at home? I have to get these test results to the EPA by the end of the week or I could lose my job. Great. You could be home raising our future progeny. Look, Will. We've talked about this. You know how important this work is to me, to us, to the whole world. Look, Vicki, if, if we're not going to have kids, who are you saving the world for? This promotion means more than a better future for us. If I can create a cleaner process, then I can really feel that I've done something meaningful with my life. I, but I thought you knew how much that meant to me. And I thought you knew how much having a family meant to me. Look, I, I bust my ass out there every day. And I've always supported you in everything you wanted to do. But where do I find meaning in my life? Well, millions of children will be affected by what I do. Then they're all ours. I mean, isn't it enough just to love me and know that I love you? Vicki, mm -hmm. Mr. Peek's going to need to see you today just after lunch. Mm -hmm. He's, well, he's concerned about the numbers from the local groundwater tests. Mm -hmm. And just a heads up, he's he's really worried about this, and well, I know you understand. Mm -hmm. Jim, I need you to go check on boiler number six. It's been acting up again. Great. All right. No, not right now, but there is something important we need to talk about before the end of the day. Yes, sir. A peso for your thoughts? My thoughts are worth a lot more than a peso, thank you. That's not the way I heard it. <laughs> Very funny. So what are you working on? Oh, that's very nice. But what are you really working on? Boy, you really are anxious to get out of here, aren't you? I've been working here a long time. So have you. I'm about ready to see some payoff for my work. This is a big decision. This is going to affect a whole lot more people than just us. You're not going to get a better deal. You have to do this. This isn't just about what I want. So when is it going to be about what you want, David? 
You're not getting any younger. Neither am I. I want to follow my dreams. What about your dreams? My dream? My dream was to make my grandfather's factory successful and to make this process better. Your grandfather didn't have to deal with the EPA. Your grandfather didn't have to deal with globalization. David, you have to let it go. It's time. Now. It's just that easy. It's time. this anymore. Do what? This? Us? Yes. 